Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we're going to take a look at the GeForce Now app from NVIDIA, the native app for WebOS, uh, meaning that my LG C1 OLED now has an app built in, uh, so I don't need NVIDIA Shield TV or any extra hardware other than a controller to stream PC games to my OLED TV, which is actually really cool. Now, I have a C1 OLED. It's a 48-inch, uh, and I use this as a PC monitor. Uh, this is in my office uh, slash uh, game room type setup, uh, but a lot of people are going to be using th a bigger TV down their living room, and you'll be able to put in an Xbox controller just like I just showed you there, and I have my Xbox controller just wired to one of the two USB ports on the back of the TV, and it works perfectly with GeForce Now. So it is in beta. Uh, the uh, priority is what I have. I have a priority account uh, that I got when I bought my 3090 last year. Uh, so I'm on priority, but there's a new tier, uh, 3080 tier. Uh, so that's something that we'll talk about in just a few moments. But the priority uh, basically will cap you at 1080p at 60 frames a second. Uh, if you want to get higher than that, you're going to have to go for the 3080 tier. Now you can go to your apps app and then search for NVIDIA. And as soon as you search for NVIDIA, the GeForce Now beta comes up and now you can just install that. And when I click on it, it's going to automatically launch it because I already installed it. So here we are in my library. Uh, we've got Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Uh, and we've got uh, other games over here as well. Uh, you will notice that there are, sorry for the focus issues, by the way. Uh, you've got some uh, Thursday games here. And you also have some free-to-play games like Fortnite and Apex, uh, Destiny 2, Counter-Strike, and a bunch of others. Uh, so you do have some options here. You can, of course, connect your Steam account and your Epic uh, Games account as well to get uh, even more options, obviously. So let's take a quick look through settings. You can see that I have uh, the priority membership. I got it with my 3090 last year. Uh, we'll take a look at the settings here so you can see kind of basically the setting layout so that uh, you know what you're looking at here. Uh, you can see that our connections here, I don't have Epic Games set up, but I do have Steam set up. Uh, server location can be changed, uh, and your streaming quality can also be changed from balanced, which is what I would recommend if you have a decent connection, just leave it on balanced, or you can set it to custom uh, and kind of uh, tweak it a little bit uh, to uh, better react with your network environment. So you do have those options uh, built in there. Okay, so I did mention, uh, you can see at the bottom right-hand corner, in-game graphics settings. Uh, it's grayed out for me because I don't have that 3080 membership. Uh, so if I upgrade to that, then it'll allow me to do, you know, 1440p and in some cases take advantage of the 4K screen that I'm using and 120 frames and all of that fun stuff as well. So I'm just basically going through kind of what you're going to notice as a priority or free member to see if it's worth it or not. Uh, to play through this. So we're going to play uh, a game here. We're going to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I believe is what I'm going to pick here, uh, just to kind of show you uh, what uh, the quality of this is like uh, so that you guys can see it and see if it's worth it to, to throw this on your TV so that if you're down in your living room or something like that and you just want to hook up a controller, uh, they haven't really told me what other controllers work, but again, USB connected Xbox controller works just fine. Uh, so I didn't have any problems using that uh, hardwired. I would assume that a DualShock 4 uh, via Bluetooth connection will work fine as well. Uh, you can set that up in your TV settings. Uh, so no problems. Uh, should, should be pretty uh, straightforward here. Okay, so let's take it away with a little Shadow of the Tomb Raider here. Uh, I want to launch this just to kind of show you how fast you get with um, some loading time uh, and that type of thing and uh, some of the things that you can change with the free slash priority tier uh, in the game uh, or how it's set up to uh, show you exactly what quality settings we're on. So we'll continue on here. It'll update your user configuration and then it will launch the game. Uh, and it's uh, pretty quick. I have a pretty decent uh, network here, uh, so I don't have any problems with uh, how fast this launches. 
uh, and then once you're in the game, uh, I didn't really run into too many hiccups uh, whatsoever. Okay, so here we are at the main screen. Uh, a couple things uh, we'll take a look at, obviously, is options and display. Now, the resolution, again, is capped to 1080p, uh, and you can use uh, RTX DLSS, though. Uh, so you have a bunch of different settings that you can set with that if you want to uh, at 1080p. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a of a difference there. Uh, maybe if you have a really poor network, you may want to uh, enable it. I'm going to put it on balanced, I believe, uh, or quality, one or the other, just to kind of show it off and see what it does over my network. And of course, the monitor refresh rate is at, capped at 60. It priority. Uh, again, if you need to upgrade to get 120 frames, uh, you could go for that. So I'll let you guys check out some of the gameplay here and be the judge for yourself. Jonah, I'm out. Be careful, the way into the site is full of traps. Kennedy's not done with it yet. They're protecting something. Six weeks. Still no salt cleans on who's leaving the local Trinity cell. But I talked to some people in town. They're excited. There's a VIP coming to the Day of the Dead. Name's Dominguez. We should look into it. Jonah, I made it. I'm on my way in. I'm almost there. Sorry I didn't wait. Be careful. Father's notes. Mm -hmm. I saw where the passage collapsed on me back there. You want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. What is all this? Constellations. This inscription is some sort of riddle. Pink fish. Pink fish. Silver crowned. So there you go. That's uh, the little gameplay demo there of. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, and even at 1080p, on obviously on an OLED, it's going to look really good, or at least it does. It probably looks better in person than it does on the video here. Uh, but I didn't have any problems whatsoever playing this title. Uh, no uh, hiccups with network issues or anything like that. Worked really well, even though it was in 1080p upscaled to 4K. I guess is 
how it controls that. Uh, it worked out really, really well. So this is a good solution if you're just gonna plug in a controller to the back of your TV or a Bluetooth enabled controller to the TV uh, and you wanna kick back and you want to play something uh, you know, for a short amount of time, uh, you know, you can play adventure games, indie titles would work really well on this, uh, things like that. I don't know that I would recommend first person shooters, uh, but I haven't done a lot of extensive testing. This is really kind of my first uh, attempt with the GeForce Now beta on the LG OLED uh, C1 version, uh, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it has a lot of promise. Uh, and the fact that you don't need anything but a controller now that it's a native app in WebOS is a really good thing. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of the beta. Uh, I may do some updates if I get enough interest in the comment section below as this progresses. Uh, remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.